Sage Wanderer here. Uh, so I normally have my face in the video, but I had something I needed to show you. If you were under the impression that the Illuminati Luciferianism system, especially in the music business, is new, let me show you something I discovered. Some old footage from the American Bandstand television show this looks to me to be from the early 1960s. But make note of this musical performance uh, introduced by young Dick Clark here. And uh, what you will see is a performer dancing in front of a horned goddess on a throne. This is the most blatant early visual evidence of Luciferianism that I can see in, in uh, the music business and that seems also wholesome. And the song uh, is the lyrics. Listen to the lyrics. There's not many, but it's uh, all about enticing a tiny little girl to come sit on your knee. So it almost seems like the lyrics of this song, in retrospect, knowing what we know about the Luciferians, uh, the Luciferians, this starts to look a lot like, well, you figure it out. All right, here it is. Bigger and bigger than ever. It's called Little Bitty Pretty One. Ladies and gentlemen, Frank Lyman. Check out that Luciferian symbol. What is that? A horned woman? What are her hands doing? This looks so much like Baphomet. And here he is dancing before the horned goddess as they push in a little tighter, making sure to keep the horned goddess in the picture. Wow. What's that, a book on her knee? Little bitty pretty one, come and talk to me. Little bitty lovely one. Come sit on my knee. A lot of lyrics there. And also, always keeping in the shot there, the horned female Baphomet? What is that? Why is there a horned devil woman in the background? Why are they dancing before this idol? What is going on? All right, well, enough of that. Just in case you thought it was a new thing, there it is. Frankie Lyman on American Bandstand. Wow, doing his little gig in front of the horned idol.